What is up guys, do not even try her. and today we are playing some Flight Simulator 2020. Um, according to the polls that I've made on YouTube, after having a thousand subs, you guys wanted to see more gaming videos, history related, aviation related, whatever. So I thought that making some small FS 2020 tutorials for beginners might actually be a good thing because the game is amazing and you guys seem to enjoy it when I stream it. Um, last stream did amazingly well and I'm super happy about it. So yeah, so the first tutorial I want to make is how to fly the amazing Caronetto YMF5 Waco. This aircraft is one of my absolute favorite aircraft point. It has a 300 horsepower engine. It's a it's an oil spitter. It loves to spit oil. And it's the sound is amazing. It flies beautifully and overall as you can see the model is amazing. It's a third party aircraft. It's not made by uh, Microsoft themselves and everything. But as you can see, um, this is how, yeah, there we go. Look at this. Look at this beautiful aircraft. And it has multiple, multiple niche features, such as uh, the ability to remove the front canvas to replace it with a glass cockpit, like here. I usually fly without. It's, I much prefer it like that. Um, and yeah, the aircraft is super simple to fly and this is what I'm bringing you to. I will show you how to start up the engine, taxi the aircraft, take off and land with it safely. It's a super fun aircraft. It's not the easiest thing in the world. It's manageable, but it has some minor tweaks that you need to know to fly this aircraft properly. And once you do, it is an absolute joy. So, I'll see you on the runway. So, welcome to the world map. What we're first going to do is select the airport. So, I found a niche little flight, which is here. We're gonna fly, fr we're gonna fly from Montreal, St. Hubert, which is a niche little airfield, which I went to an air show not so long ago. I've actually made a video about it, link in the description. And we're gonna select ramp 68 as our departure which will allow us to manually start up the engine and everything. And we're going to land in Mirabel. Set as arrival, but we're going to take one of the ramps as any mini mani mo catch the tiger by the toe, uh, you. Set as arrival. This is our arrival point. It's a, it's a 15 minute flight, so it's a very nice getting an ants flight and you fly over Montreal, hopefully um, the uh, Jacques Cartier bridge is better modeled than last time because last time was kind of funny. Um, it's a bridge that I know very well and uh, let's say it doesn't look like that, so yeah. Liveries, you can go there for your liveries and you've got beautiful, beautiful ones. Personally, I'm hesitant between saying this one is my favorite or this one uh for the sake of the video i feel like mm, let's go for this one it's I, I i like it i like it a lot and you've already seen the other one in the anger so some changes is pretty cool um yeah montreal nice so yeah we are ready to go i believe if you want to change your fuel, it's in weight and balance. I'm going to keep 50% of fuel. I, I don't want to touch that, honestly. I'm going to put my real weight, which is 150 pounds. No. Yes, 5'7", 150 pounds. Super big guy. I'm, I'm very intimidating. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, this is too dark. Let's, let's do a good flight. And let's. 
So, welcome to St. Hubert Airport. Our aircraft's here. And we've got... Look at this thing. It's so beautiful. The Waco is such a sexy aircraft. I love biplanes. Especially modern ones or like... I don't know, 30s ones? Like the Stairman and everything. They look so good. I love them. And you guys... I, if you buy this aircraft, which is not that expensive, it's less than $20, this is why I'm making a video, because people need to know about this aircraft. The sound is incredible. The sound of a radial engine is just the sexiest thing in the world. Yes, I know the radio's off. So, here's your cockpit. Uh, it should come like that, or like this. Which is just a iPad to customize your aircraft. So, let's say, up. Oh, you click on passenger cover and it removes it so you've got a front glass cockpit and you can even open the door which is there there you go the door is open but we're gonna keep that out because honestly it's cool not to have anything in the way so if you want to remove the iPad you just click on it if you want it back you just click on the joystick and there you go so what I like to do with starting up aircraft is especially piston ones is actually open up every electrical switch that I can to just have everything start up at the same time once I put the battery on so what I'll do is put on the taxi light the position light the strobe light, uh, the pilot heat, we don't need that, and the beacon light. Uh, then I'll switch on the fuel pump, avionics. We're going to push the right fuel tank, which is that red lever here. The left fuel tank, not to create any imbalance. Mixture all the way up and battery alternator and once everything is up one two three and stop and your craft is ready to go so i know not a lot of people will want to actually start up the aircraft. Personally, it's my favorite part of the game. It's actually knowing how to start the real thing. But if you just want to start it up and taxi it to the runway, you can simply press Ctrl E and everything will be done for you. So, uh, since this is a controlled um, well. A control airport we are actually gonna play with the ATC we're gonna ask on the ground service go back to clearance um, we're gonna request a depart straight out Always acknowledge your taxi clearance. So, okay, so we've got some well to do. So, um, usually with a tail dragger like this one, you need to go left and right to see where you're going. Unfortunately, I don't have an, um, a VR headset or a track hour, so I cannot move my head. I only have to use the knob on my joystick joystick which is by the way a Logitech Extreme 3D Pro if you're a beginner this is the joystick for you so for taxi I'll have to use the external view so what we'll do is release the parking brakes and this aircraft 
to actually stare needs a lot of power so you'll want to put a lot of power and keep a finger on the brakes not the parking brakes the normal brakes so put some power and go back to idle to taxi it's pretty easy you put some power get to a certain speed go back to idle and the aircraft will keep that speed some brakes and you see what I mean don't stare it too much because uh, she doesn't like to she really really doesn't like to steer All right, let's tune in the tower. And request takeoff clearance VFR from tower. Now let's acknowledge. Great. Now what we are going to do is press V to pop off the VFR map, which shows us our where where we actually need to go. All right. Let's go. Let's get back into the cockpit view and we are ready to go. Let's break that there and full power. And we can keep the full power, that's the thing. We can actually can. The radial gets cooled down by the air and doesn't overeat much. And we're already off. gonna turn slightly to the right listen to that beast And as you can see, she flies nicely. The thing is, with this aircraft, you've got your artificial horizon, which is that thing. Follow that thing closely, because what you'll usually do with an aircraft, a normally a normal aircraft, is point the nose about where your visual horizon is, so right there, and point their nose at it. If you do so with the WACO, you actually lift the aircraft up, so you're taking altitude, which you don't necessarily want if you want to fly, uh, to fly straight, because as you can see, 
the nose is much lower than the cockpit and it's at a, it's at an angle so really really if you want to really fly straight and not take too much altitude follow your artificial horizon as you can see right now my nose is way under the uh, the horizon and my altitude is slightly decreasing but not too much now it's increasing see this is now I'm, I'm basically flying straight it's such a fun aircraft to fly and it sounds so good just listen to this Oh, also, we're going to do something that's not very legal, per se, while well, at least overpopulated areas. But I want you guys to hear the noise of this thing on a dive. I'm going to just align myself. And this thing, I've brought this thing over 200 miles an hour. The thing, uh, my speedometer actually went up and I was still taking speed listen to this She is such a joy. She's not especially maneuverable, and especially at low speeds, she's like y'all, like you'll see on the approach. She can be a bitch, but that small challenge makes it even more. I, I, it makes the air, the flight even more challenging, and I love it. That runway 29. Yep, runway 29. So, for this aircraft, you've actually got instructions on your iPad for the angle. This is too high. You really, really need a smooth approach. So, last time I landed this thing, I've actually went too hard, and um, I, I believe my landing gear needed. And inspection afterwards at low speeds she can be a tough baby to maneuver was perfect so as you can see we're pretty much aligned with the runway we're at a good speed and we have all the runway that we need
almost at our optimal landing speed. Yes, this should be perfect. Side. and this is what I mean she gets pretty unstable on landing I don't know if it's me or my joystick or anything but uh, power a bit of power lower altitude she can get a bit rocky and I feel like there's wind since I'm a pretty big aircraft that wind really fucks me up and slowly engine off There you go. Engine completely on idle. Roger. And yeah, so as you can see, Landing it can be pretty rocky. pretty hard break there all right now parking brakes make sure all the way down should cut the engine close the fuel tanks lights off Fuel pump off, avionics off, and there you go. So yeah, this was the FS 2020 Waco. It is an amazing aircraft. I highly recommend it if you have a small $20 to throw away. Just do it. It's such an amazing aircraft. It's so much fun. It's a very nice challenge. It's not an aircraft that will let you, you know, pilot her. She wants to pilot you. And that's a very nice feeling to have. Like, it's not like a cub, which you can do basically anything with, and the aircraft will do. This is an actual challenge, and it's super fun to fly. It's super fun to master. And starting it, it's pretty easy. It's the basic are pretty easy but flying it is very cool so yeah i hope you have enjoyed this video if you did leave a like comment and why not subscribe to the channel and i will see you next time